So it's day five with the Shea Bay powder. I've applied the application twice. Um, I've sprayed it in like Discovering Naturals. And then I've also applied it to my hair. So as you can see, my little, <laughs> my hair still has to shine. Still looks soft. I've also added some um, Jamaican black castor oil to it to seal it in once I apply it. But the residue is showing. As you can see, my twists don't look as beautiful as they did. But that's okay because my roots are really starting to get fuzzy, puffy. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm excited. Come wash day. Oh my goodness. Wash day, I will be shampooing my hair with my Biotene Boost. I will be doing a deep conditioner. But yeah, it is definitely retaining the moisture. Definitely. This is how my hair will look for the whole day without having to go back and refresh it. My little twist will stay just like this all day, even once it's 100% dry. But right now, it's like 90% dry. So I just pinned it back. And I just can't wait till wash day. I'm ready to wash it. I'm ready to wash my hair. But so far, this is Shea Bay. Shea Bay powder. And I'm doing this for the moisture, um, the strengthening of my strands, and to keep um, hair retention. So far, so good, guys. All right. Keep God first in everything you do. This is just an update. Stay tuned. I'll put all this together so that you can get the whole video. All right. Okay guys, Rim McCoy 401. This <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It is takedown time. And I will be taken down, but I will not be reapplying the Shea Bay on this round because I have a couple of things I'm gonna be doing and I don't want people thinking I'm flaking. You know what I'm saying? But this is this is it. This is the results. I know you can see the flakes and all that stuff. Well, with your Shea Bay powder, it's not flakes. It's Shea Bay powder. And I had to take down those twists because they actually were starting to lock. Yeah. So I'm going to take this stuff down. And I know it's going to take me probably a couple of shampoos in order to actually get all of this Shea Bay powder out of my hair. My hair is very soft. It's moisturized. Yeah. No growth expected. But moisturized and softness, yeah. Shine. Yes. Uh, did it do what I think it would do? We will see after I shampoo it. I want to know how my hair feels without the Shea Bay. I want to see if I have that stronger strands. If I have that, that you know, more thickness. I want to see if I got that. Um... Just strength. I want to see if my hair has more strength. So, those are the things that I'll be expecting. I did have to take it down from the twist. Do a little two strand twist on some parts of it. You know, the ponytail right here in the bark. So, ooh, we look at all that. Because I did, I did apply it about two, two, three, two times. 
within these six days. I applied it two times. You could apply it three times, but I did it two times because I felt like I had enough. So now I'm about to go clean my hair. Where is my little Dollar Tree scalp massager, baby? Woo! I love wash day right now. So I will be back with you guys in a minute. You know I ain't taking y'all in my shower. You already know that. No. 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 Shea Bay does not grow your hair. Uh uh. No. I don't know if I need a deep conditioner. Probably will. I'll be using my hair mayonnaise. I'll be back. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. We're in McCord 411. Last take of this video. I am going to make this quick because I know there are other parts of this video and I'm trying to just put all this together. So there will be no style to this video, to the end of this video, but there will be information. Okay? I started this week off using the Shea Bay pack. And I use water and I used a tablespoon of this and I threw my extra stuff in there. I use what I'm gonna be using right now, this leave-in honey. I mixed that in there and I also mixed a little grapeseed and avocado oil by um, Jackie's. That was my mix and I had it on my hair and I had twist in then my twist start locking, so then I took it down and I did the, you know, put a little more paste on there and did two strand twists and had a little ponytail. Y'all saw all that, okay? Um, I want to start off by saying that Shea Bay Powder promotes and always says that they do not, um, it's not for hair growth. It's for length retention and uh, strengthening of the hair. Okay? So I'm going to put that out there. So I'm going to put that over here because that was the main thing of this video. And I'll have a picture of it at the end. So I have shampooed my hair. It took me three times to shampoo my hair. Of course, I use my Bioteen boots. Okay? This is gentle enough to use every day. This is my thickening shampoo. So I use this to rinse out all of the Shea Bay powder in my hair to shampoo it out. Okay, got it all out. Then I went in with my deep conditioner and I let that set, I think it was 30 minutes, I let that set for about 45 minutes. Rinse that out. Hair is clean, ready to go. I'm gonna be taking down my hair combing it out, applying my Camille Rose honey, and just putting my hair up in some ponytails to let it rest. But I'm gonna tell you guys about this product. Okay. Shea Bay Powder always says that it does not it doesn't want to be put out there for promoting hair growth, okay? I put that there. It does not want to be put out there for promoting hair growth. However, it wants to be put out there for retaining length and strengthening your strands, okay? And it does that. It does that. I, I can vouch for it. Just by shampooing my hair alone, my hair felt stronger. You know, it, it felt stronger. And it only takes a little of the Biotene Boots to shampoo your hair, but I had to get them suds in there because 
It was uh, it suds up big time. Okay, I'm dividing my hair so that I can apply my Camille Rose. All right, so with the Shea Bay mask, you will have like a residue at the end, okay? There's a residue and the residue is supposed to stay in your hair and not come out. So, it's going to be, you know, it's showing. So, if you're going to be, go you know, if you're going to be going somewhere and uh, going to a big dinner or something like that, and you don't want people to think that you have dandruff real bad, then you will not want to do the Shea Bay powder in the paste form. You may want to use it in the oil form, okay? Uh, which I have made my oil and I cannot wait to use it. It works, I'm telling you, it works. I always do that, so. Shea Bay is expensive to me. And this, this, this uh, Camille Rose honey, look at that, uh, give me that honey, okay. This stuff, it warms up in your hand. When you're doing that, just do, do your hands like that. Just, and it will warm up in your hand. And you just put it in your hair. And you feel it hydrating every freaking stroke that you're doing. Every stroke that you're doing doing oh my god this feels so good this feels so I tell you i'm going back shea bay powder i'm going back i sure am i sure am they got me okay i'm gonna try for another week and then after that I think I'm gonna try it for another week. It may just be part of my monthly, you know, care routine to my hair. Just once a month or twice a month to go a week and use Shea Bay powder. For real, for real. That's how confident and good I feel about this product. I'm telling you. For real, for real. I feel like it helped me retain length. I feel like it hydrated. It kept my hair moist. I mean, my hair was so moist, you would think that my hair was wet, okay? And my hair was not wet when I took it down. My hair was moist. And it wasn't a um, moisture overload. It wasn't a moisture overload. It was just straight moist. It warms up. Oh. So I am applying this and I'm gonna let my hair, you know, rest. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna hit y'all with something else because I got something in the mail, baby. And I can't wait to use it. I can't wait to use it. I can tell y'all what it is. Hold on, hold on. I'm using my smaller demon brush. It usually works. Maybe maybe because my hair is shaved ain't thicker. Look, see? This is my bigger one. Maybe because my hair is shea bay thicker. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! I found something. I found something. <laughs> I gotta reorder. Yes. I ordered it and I got it in the mail and I cannot wait to put my twist up with it. Whitney, natural 85. 
that oil got my hair shining. I feel like Shea Bay got my hair shining too. I really do. Now, I don't know how to do flat twists in the back now. Hold on. Look at that. How thick that is. Stay tuned for the melanin though, because I'm going to have to do some twist out with that. I'm going to have to do me a twist out with that, or I may go back and watch um, Naturally Nola and do my my uh, two-strand twist all over my flat twist. So stay tuned, papers. Stay tuned. Uh, keep God first in everything you do, and I do mean everything, even in the products that you put over in your hair, okay? Um and also, I wanted to let you know that mistakes are proof that you are trying. That's something that I learned, and I really want to share that with y'all. Mistakes are proof that you're trying. All right? Y'all have a blessed day. Me and my hair are finna go lay it down, lay it down. You heard? All right. Yeah, I'm kind of chopping this group. But, all right. Love you guys. Bye.